Chapter 206, Flood Dragon's Cave. If it's a cave that's at the summit of Thunder Crash Mountain, it can't be any other Thunder Lizard, it has to be the Thunder Flood Dragon. The Thunder Lizards of Thunder Crash Mountain have distinct hierarchies that are based on strength. The strongest controls territory at the top, where the power of thunder is the richest. Moreover, the peak is the symbol of absolute authority. How can the Thunder Flood Dragon let anyone else have it? Lin Ming's mind raced wildly. The black-clothed martial artist said that Thunder Lizards kept Thunder attribute treasures in their caves so that the power of thunder in their caves would be more vivid. If this truly was the Thunder Flood Dragon's cave, what sort of treasures would be inside it? Realizing this, Lin Ming's heart began to ignite with overwhelming desire. However, he also saw that in front of a cave, there were dozens of Thunder Lizards. Lin Ming paused. Any one of these Thunder Lizards could take his life. Once they found him, he would die without even a burial. As his heart went through a battle of wills, Lin Ming clenched his teeth. There was no fortune without danger. He would fight for it. This was a once in a millennia opportunity. If it weren't for the woman in red appearing, even if Lin Ming broke through to the Xianxin realm, he would still have no chance of entering the Thunder Flood Dragon's cave. Those that walked the path of martial arts were doomed to face countless perils and dangers. With Lin Ming's current talent and strength, he would definitely be able to reach the extreme Xianxin realm, and even go beyond that. But how about higher? Could he ever compare to the mighty elders of the realm of the gods? Lin Ming knew that Sky Spill Continent had a lot of geniuses. But in this universe, there were many worlds that were just like Sky Spill Continent. The number of talents could not be estimated simply. With so many talents, some were born into 4th grade sex, 5th grade sex, 6th grade sex, or even realm of the gods sex or holy lands. They had unimaginable resources and materials to cultivate with. They were probably thrown into a miracle medicine jar after being born too. Growing up like this, they also had access to the best cultivation methods, and in the holy lands of the realm of the gods, the cultivation methods they studied weren't any different to his own. In addition to these geniuses that were born into unfathomable backgrounds, there were many talents that underwent all sorts of adventures and had experienced all kinds of fortuitous encounters. In the world they lived in, they were the main characters. With so many people, how many had to truly reach the peak of martial arts? Lin Ming didn't discount himself, nor was he blindly arrogant about his own abilities. He knew that the road before him was long and winding. But, whether or not he could reach the end, that was still unknown. For those that cultivated martial arts, every day was a struggle against the heavens and against life. He could not waste a single second of his life, nor could he miss the opportunities that presented themselves in front of him. Otherwise, when the day he would reach the limit of his cultivation and be forced to go through life and death closed door seclusion in order to break through the bottleneck and extend his own, comes, his martial arts path would most likely have reached its end. Lin Ming gazed wholeheartedly at a fierce fight that was ongoing in the sky, and he took a set of grey clothes out of his spatial ring to change into. There was no snow at the summit of Thunder Crash Mountain, only endless crags of grey magnetic ores. If he wore grey clothes, it would be easier to not draw attention to himself. By relying on his realm of returning to his true self and restraining the breath of his body, Lin Ming was like a grey leopard as he silently bounded from one stone to another. He hastily rushed towards the Thunder Flood Dragon's cave. Due to the monumental fight occurring in the air, no one noticed a mere human closing in on the summit's cave. No one could possibly imagine that there would be someone who had courage to sneak into the cave and steal rare thunder attribute materials. After Lin Ming jumped onto the cliff, his hands clung onto the rocky exterior and he quickly scaled upwards like a gecko. At this time, only three or four miles from the Thunder Flood Dragon's cave, Lin Ming's spiritual sense had reached a high degree of concentration. From where he was now, he had already passed the boundary of danger. If any true essence fallout or backlash from the fight in the air landed on him, he would instantly die. Although he was cautious, Lin Ming did not slow down in the slightest. Time was life. If the airborne battle reached its conclusion and a Thunder Flood Dragon expelled the woman in red and returned to his cave, Lin Ming would be deader than dead. Fortunately, the woman in red was a complete power freak. With just the strength of one person, she was actually able to match the Thunder Flood Dragon and all of his descendants. Lin Ming used a few dozen breaths to pass that three or four miles. Just as he was about to enter the Thunder Flood Dragon's cave, he spotted a massive Thunder Lizard standing not too far from the entrance. This Thunder Lizard's body was larger than a blue Thunder Lizard, its entire body was a deep purple. This purple Thunder Lizard was a vicious beast at the same level as a Xianxin Realm martial artist. Lin Ming's eyelids jumped up. This overwhelming existence could extinguish his life in just a few breaths of time. Lin Ming hid behind a large boulder, staring at the pitch black cave entrance. His heartbeat was rapid. He was only a mere 200 feet from the cave, but this 200 feet was just like an insurmountable moat. Looking at the purple thunder lizard again, Lin Ming saw that the beast's total concentration was focused on the fight in the sky. Vicious beasts didn't have naturally sharp perceptions. In addition to that, it also had to lend its power and attention to help the thunder flood dragon in its battle while protecting the other thunder lizards. Because of this, it hadn't noticed Lin Ming, who had restrained the breath of his body. Bang! A gigantic fiery red ball fell from the sky. That purple thunder lizard and several other thunder lizards vehemently concentrated their powers to reinforce the lightning net and resist the fireball. But, the woman in red's attack was too strong. Even though the purple thunder lizard had tried its best, its entire body quivered and it vomited blood. This is my chance. Lin Ming's eyes flashed, and he instantly launched golden rock shattering the void. Under the cover of explosive fire, he was like an arrow that flew through the cave's entrance. After the split second when Lin Ming's figure disappeared, the explosions stopped. The purple thunder lizard was severely injured by the attack. Where would he have the time to notice some little guy running into the cave? I'm in. I made it. Lin Ming's exultant thoughts echoed in his mind as his heart beat like a drum. 
As he sped into the cave, Lin Ming noticed that the cave was jet black, but it wasn't dark. The walls of the cave were mounted with brilliantly luminescent giant pearls and some thunder tribute minerals that glowed. The entire cave was bathed in a fairy-like light, utterly pleasing to the eye. This flood dragon is far too excessive. His avaricious greed is really true. Looking at the shining illuminations from the giant mound of treasure, Lin Ming sighed in his mind. In the mortal world, any one of these treasures would be worth well over 10,000 gold tails. Just the decorations that lined the walls were worth more than several million gold tails. Of course, these were things that Lin Ming refused to grab as he had more important goals in his mind. He raised his vigilance to 120% as he cautiously made his way into the cave. There was a very vibrant power of thunder in the cave, thick to the point that it almost became a tangible essence. If a thunder tribute martial artist were to cultivate here, their cultivation speed would rise to 10,000 miles in one day. As he turned a corner, Lin Ming only saw a bright purple light in front of him. Thundergrass. Not too far away from Lin Ming, there was a thick patch of deep purple thundergrass that was half the height of a human. At the tip of the grass there were tiny fist-sized fruits that sparkled with electric currents. The fruit was a dark, purplish-black. Millennium Thundergrass. Lin Ming's eyes widened with joy. According to the descriptions in the Thundergrass Mountain pamphlet, this should be at least 1,400 or 1,500 years old. Its valuable was inestimable. Lin Ming didn't delay. He took the high-grade treasure saber out and filled it with the power of thunder, before cutting down the dark purple fruit to store it in his spatial ring. As for the grass roots, Lin Ming didn't take those. The Thunder Flood Dragon would look after them, and in the future, if his strength reached a level high enough, he would make another trip back. At that time, he wouldn't need to sneak in. After he collected the thunder grass, Lin Ming didn't dare. He continued deeper into the cave, speeding down a hillside. Soon, Lin Ming began to see a light. There was a giant stone chamber in front of him. This stone chamber was almost 1,000 feet wide. After entering the stone chamber, Lin Ming gasped. On the ground of the stone chamber, there was a field of over 100 thunder grass, both large and small. Judging by the size of the thunder grass, the smallest were several hundred years old, and the rest were over 1,000 years. Thunder Crash Mountain had existed for 10,000 years. The Thunder Flood Dragon's age would be no lower than that. If it wanted to plant thundergrass, wouldn't it be too easy to produce millennium thundergrass? As Lin Ming looked, he found that most of the thundergrass fruits had been picked, and there were only 30 or 40 fruits left. Ah, so that's how it was. The Thunder Flood Dragon used this patch of thundergrass as his own personal vegetable garden. It would wait for him to grow a bit, pluck and then eat them, and continue the cycle. Not only did the Thunder Flood Dragon have the ebullient power of thunder in the cave, but it also had such great food to eat. This was such a wonderful life. Lin Ming welcomed them all. He summoned some of his thunder, and within a few breaths of time, None of the fruits remained. All that was left were the grass stalks. The 30 to 40 thunder fruits were all placed in his spatial ring. To Lin Ming, this was a bit too unreal. Over 80% of these fruits were over 1,000 years old. If this were the periphery of Thunder Crash Mountain, it would be as difficult as ascending to heaven to find these fruits. But, in the Thunder Flood Dragon's cave, harvesting them was like grabbing vegetables from the ground. This was the advantage of a long life. Only if one lived a long time could they breed and raise such miracle medicine as this. Otherwise, if the period was too long, one would die before the medicine had turned dry. Time was of the essence. After Lin Ming harvested all the thundergrass fruits, he continued forward. As soon as he left this stone chamber, Lin Ming arrived at another stone chamber. This stone chamber was even larger than the last. It was over 2,000 feet wide. Observing the stone chamber's walls and floor, it was obvious the stone chamber wasn't naturally formed. It was dug out. According to, to how far in he had gone, Lin Ming estimated that he was already deep in Thundercrash Mountain. Only there would have enough space to carve such a large stone chamber. The floor of this spacious stone chamber was covered with all sorts of precious furs. There were sables, raccoons, tigers, leopards, and all sorts of other rare animals, too many to count. Some of these furs were placed into a section of the wall. This was obviously a bed. This thunder flood dragon really knows how to enjoy life. Lin Ming was speechless. This bedroom was 2,000 feet wide, and collecting all that precious fur was reminiscent to the actions of humans. Lin Ming was about to leave, when he suddenly discovered that there was an incomparably rich power of thunder coming from the bed. Li Ming's mind stirred. He rushed over, and lifted a snow-white tiger pelt up. Under the pelt. There was actually a purple gem embedded into the ground that was emitting a purple light. This gem was the size of a fist. The strangest thing about it was that it seemed to be sealing something that looked just like a beating purple heart.